Children with autism and Asperger's syndrome often have meltdowns. Perhaps they get overwhelmed at a store. Maybe school was just too much for them today. They're just playing a game with their brothers or sisters, and the other players just refuse to play by their rules. That can easily cause a meltdown. Sound familiar? Well, here are some tips to prevent meltdowns in your children with autism or Asperger's syndrome. Tip number one. To prevent meltdowns, you must understand why they occur. Kids with autism or Asperger's syndrome melt down and become verbally abusive and sometimes physically violent primarily because they reach the end of their patience. Let's face it, they're only kids and life is totally bewildering to them and hostile much of the time. In addition, if your loved one is in middle or high school, there is greater than a 90% probability that they are being bullied in school. This leads to anxiety, stress, and depression. This constant taunting and bullying is one reason why teenagers in particular are so fearful of seeming different, and why they can fly off the handle if you ask them to do something like wear a particular shirt that they think might make them a target of bullies. Overcoming the bullying is an entirely different issue, and one that is not easily solved. While the solution to bullying is complex, the first thing you must find out is the extent of the bullying. Ask your loved one if they are being picked on, being hit, being called names. They may not even realize that there is something that can be done to stop it. Ensure that your school recognizes that the bullying is occurring and insist that they help your child and protect him from the bullies. Tip number two for overcoming meltdowns. To find a safe place. I suggest that you work with your son and find a safe place for him. It could simply be his room. Make sure that there are blackout shades that he can pull to get the room as dark as possible. Make sure the room is as quiet as possible. Work with your son and train him that any time he begins to feel overwhelmed, he should go to a safe place and calm down. Simply lie down. Maybe pull the covers over his head, but let him escape to his safe place. Tip number three, don't fall off the cliff. Sensitivities to sounds, smells, clothing, temperature, all contribute. Kids with autism get overwhelmed very easily. They tend to have very sensitive hearing. They're sensitive to smells, to the feel of clothes. It doesn't take much to push them over the edge of the cliff. Work with your child so that he recognizes when he's getting near the edge, so that he does not get pushed over the edge. Understanding what will push his buttons and teaching him to recognize when he's about to blow up is key to success in preventing the meltdowns in the first place. Tip number four, seek first to understand. These children fundamentally see the world differently than you or I see the world. Always try to understand from their perspective what is causing the frustration, the anger. Until you can see the world through their eyes, you will have trouble preventing meltdowns. To get additional information to help your child thrive with autism, Go to www.aspergersociety.org and make sure you sign up for my free Asperger Syndrome newsletter, which is practical tips for any parent of a child on the autism spectrum.